Yo guys and girls, it's Robos from Robos Fishing. Uh, sorry about my inactivity. I've just been really busy just fishing and I think my camera and that's been messing up. I've had to send my actual make proper main camera back because it weren't working properly. So that's buggered me up a bit. But I'm actually off fishing now. For So this is actually part two of my local syndicate. Uh, I've actually caught a carp while I was down there over the, I think it was last week or week before because I can't remember now but I'll put that up in a picture now yeah we're six pound six it was lovely. I thought it was bigger when it was on my feeder rod. It really actually felt at least a 20 plus, or at least a double figure. But then when I actually put it in net, set my big carp run and everything, I had a mate there. He had a big, I had a, I've got one of them big, like 42 inch carp nets with floating system and all that gibberish on it. But I didn't even end up needing it. So I've got two, and I've got a little one for like bream tent, because there's a load of bream and tench in there. And then obviously quite a small carp, but then into double figures. And biggest one's 24, I think, at the minute. But I'm sure I've seen a bigger carp, but no one's caught it yet. There's a big ghost there. What's about 14 pound, a rough, a rough estimate. But that haven't been caught yet. We've had this season or last season, I don't think. But that's what I'm after today. So, all my tackle is when I spin the camera around one minute all ready and ready to go I'm just going down light you see my rod bag my trolley I can't be asked with my trolley so I'm just taking my rucksack and my rod bag a big bottle of water because it's really really hot but other than that, uh, when I next when I next start speaking to you, I'll probably be walking down the wood. So, yeah, peace. I'm back. Just walking down wood. Still. Uh, you'll probably see before this a uh, bit of a time lapse thing where I'm walking down. But I need to keep stopping it and then starting every night again because I ain't got that much memory left on my phone from music and stuff. And this lighting's proper crap. Sorry about this. A beautiful, beautiful day. Absolutely stunning. 
for a bit of luck, I'll catch a carp. Losing two rods today. Using two feeders. Because my, I need to fix my eye on my carp rod. And I really can't be bothered for a minute. I'll do it on weekend. Oh, I'm actually in a proper bait team now. It's called Bait Monkey. Uh, they do like two tone boilers. That one part's just like a normal boiler, then other sides, I think it's going to be a pop up, I think. But I'm getting some posted through to me to test and stuff and review. So once I get them through, I'll be doing another little video vlog sort of thing and showing them you. But the next time you'll see me, I'll be down on bank with them, showing you what rigs and that I'll be using for them, seeing if they're balanced, etc. 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 So it'll be alright, I think. We any luck? <sighs> and I'm in star flight as well still, but I don't know how long that's going to last, if I'm honest. But I'm about 15 minutes walk away now, it's red hot. I've got my thick fox hoodie on for some reason, I don't know why the hell I've put it on for. Just to keep my rucksack off my shoulders. <sighs> my rod bag has got like literally my rods, my bit of my fucking chair. Fucking unhooking my nets, rod pods, and fucking all sorts of shit in it. But it's quite heavy. I'm just fucking normal carrying it. I got good if you saw that then, but I don't want to drop my film. It's an absolutely stunning view up here. I'll show you that in another bit of time lapse. So, yeah, I'll speak to you. Probably more than likely when I actually get down there. But if I don't, then I'll just record when I catch a fish and stuff. And I'll talk to you when, well, probably when I get home, and tell you what rigs and that I used, etc. But even though I'm only using method feeders, so which is going to be a normal standard air rig. We have two, we have a size 10, size 10 on one of them, I think I'm going to use a size 8 on another. Just so fucking I don't catch bremer, I'm going to use a big boiler, what I've already made myself. Some fish meal, crab, and something else going on the hills in it. I think it's hemp and bird seeds as well. I made them quite a while ago. But I've just been in the freezer. I rehydrated them last. I come down yesterday. Had a few hours fishing, didn't catch nothing. Oh yeah, I did. Sorry, I caught two bream. But I didn't catch them. That was just on sweet corn. That. But right. Then I air dried them. I then rehydrated them when I got home. Did my boilers, so they keep a bit longer. But yeah, I'm going to go now and finish video in my walk. So yeah, peace out people. I'm it up. I'm
Yo, I'm back. Uh, a load of people ended up turning up. And I'm... I've had two tents. I'll put photos up. Like, now. I'm just I'm using uh, two feeder rods, well uh, a proper feeder rod and then a margin rod. And uh, I've got a 10 gram quick change inline feeder on my little one, on my little rod. And on my feeder I've got a 15 gram. Which is a quick change rig map method feeder. Then I'm just fishing up to my left hand rod. I'm up to island, and then my left hand rod I'm just swatting it anyway. Because there's a load of weed in the middle where I wanted to go to, and I ain't got my carp gear out, I couldn't be bothered to bring it. So I just, I've just got 14 pound line and then 8 pound line, and then Ten pound bottom and then six pound bottom, I think. Uh, so hopefully it's a bit quiet at a minute. I've been down here for about four hours, something like that. I had a big run earlier, and I mean it were a proper lump on my little ten foot margin rod. It took me all the way out up to near enough other side of the lake. Playing it for about 15 minutes. I think it must have got snagged around something or it did summit because I ended up not missing out with rod. When it, it, my elastic snapped, it's literally snapped my elastic. And here it is. It's literally snapped. The whole thing is snapped. So whatever it is, it's took a nice chunk out of it. Oh well, that's poor part of fishing I guess. It's a beautiful day. I think it's about 18, 19, maybe even 20 degrees. The cops just shown. But, yeah, as soon as I get a fish I'm going to try and catch it on camera for your all. But yeah, peace out guys. Yo guys and girls, I'm back from my fishing. Uh, sorry I'm still not down at bank. I've actually had a pretty good day, if I'm honest. I've had 7 tench, and I've beat my personal best in tench, which was just under £5. Uh, I'll put pictures up at the end of the video. I ended up moving pegs halfway through because there was no fish showing in my area whatsoever and I saw them all bubbling and jumping out the other end of the lake so I ended up packing up really quick and just carrying everything around and it ended up paying off and then I last come down with a kid I ended up having I think while she was there I had four no five I had five fish while she come down in space for an hour and then I left to get something to eat, so I was starving. I had like a 12 hour session or something stupid like that down there. But, mate, it was a decent day. I was just using my feeder rods all over my feeder. I ended up only using one rod around there because I just, there just weren't no room for two rods properly because of all weeds. So I just used one rod and it ended up paying off. I'd used slack line just so it were settling on top of weed so it didn't spook fish blah 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 but yeah uh hope you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe peace